But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Perfectly tolerable, I dare say. Not handsome enough to tempt me. If he liked you, you'd have to talk to him. When did you first discover the power of poetry in driving away love? <laughs> I thought that poetry was the food of love. But what do you recommend to encourage affection? I'd let you Dancing. I'd Even let if one's partner is barely tolerable. My heart again. Oh, oh, I'd let you in. I'd let you win my heart. Mr. Darcy? I don't understand. I love you. Most of These walking eyes. As it is, I would come dance with him for all of Darcy. They're the miserable heart. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? Been walking streets. So he separated them. Been feeling and anything might tempt me to accept the man who has ruined, man perhaps forever, the happiness of a most beloved sister. Oh, oh, I let you in. Why do you ask such a question? Make out your character, Mr. Darcy. My so what have you discovered? Very little. Again. Do you deny it, Mr. Darcy, oh, that you separated a young I couple who loved each other? I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realise that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Heaven and earth are the shades of Pemberley to the dust polluted. Sorry that it came to Don't say that. You have bewitched me, body and soul. I never wish to be part of them. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. I shall not renew the sentiments which were so disgusting to you.